1836 was a wonderful time to live in Kirtland, Ohio, a wonderful time to be a Latter-day Saint. The Lord's Temple had finally been completed. The church was growing, and along with all the accompanying spiritual blessings, the saints were seeking to etch out a better way of life. Homes were built, businesses established. As a result, demand for land and merchandise increased. Prices skyrocketed. There was profit to be made. Money was scarce, particularly for new converts who were arriving in droves due to the church's zealous missionary efforts, usually without much more than the clothes on their backs. Good afternoon, brethren. Midas Waters. Brigham Young, this here's Lyman Johnson. Morning. I didn't reckon on meeting so many apostles my first day in Kirtland. Here in Kirtland, you can hardly take a step without meeting an apostle or two. Over there is Orson Hyde. You brethren know where a family of new converts might inquire about a new parcel of land? As a matter of fact, Lyman, aren't you and your brother planning on selling off a parcel? We are indeed. Reasonable, too. Five hundred dollars. It's a mighty fine piece of land, Brother Johnson. But five hundred dollars? Excuse us. That's awful high. <laughs> Only trying to better my own situation, Brigham. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I'm not against a man trying to make a reasonable profit, but there's more here to consider. Brigham, we don't see eye to eye in this. This man and his family joined the Church of Jesus Christ. They pulled up stakes, leaving everything they know behind so that they could come together with the saints of God. And why? Because the Lord asked them to. And then, when these folks finally arrive, they find there's not a dream under heaven that they can afford to stay. And this, because the Lord's very servants want to better their situations? Whose kingdom are you trying to build? The Lord's or Lyman Johnson's? It's gotten hold of your heart. 